Let's examine this question here on composite functions. A certain function f of x is this, inverse sine or arc sine x. A g function is cosine exponential, cosine of e x. I have h function, which is natural log x. I have to evaluate this, g of h of f. f function fed into your h function, that item then fed into your g function. How would we do it? Just look at it in exactly the same way as you're seeing it. In the h function, I have a, in place of the x, I have this arc sine x so this right here represents my f function having come here into my h function right h of f now this item will then go into your g function but into the variable meaning this is going to represent the exponent of exponential base e to which now you see a cosine has been applied to it so you have this this represents exactly what you have g of h of f g of h of f cosine of e exponent natural log arc sine x. How do we evaluate this? Because you can. Remember this identity. E exponent natural log x is always equal to x. The item here becomes exactly what you're looking at. I have e exponent natural log this, meaning all of this evaluates to that item here, arc sine x. It all evaluates to cosine of arc sine x. And you can evaluate this. You're looking at cosine of a certain angle here, theta, and you can use that definition of sine to generate a right triangle with a certain angle theta. And based on the definition, you see sine is equal to opposite or hypotenuse. What's my hypotenuse? It's an imaginary one. It's an x or imaginary one. And you can find this third side will be 1 minus x squared in a root. Hence, I'm looking at cosine of this angle theta. Cosine of that angle theta is equal to adjacent or hypotenuse. Your end result is this, square root of 1 minus x squared. And this end result will be correct.